let, let me tell you a few more things first. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, get, uh, yes, of course. Are you Muslim? No. Right. He's Muslim. He's Muslim. Okay. Alhamdulillah. We live in a very... Yeah. Right. We live in a very diseased society at the moment. Alhamdulillah. Very diseased society at the moment. Yes. Kids not doing it. Can you give me a second? Brother, can you turn to the brothers here? Yes. Yes. Right. So we live in a very diseased society at the moment, brought about technology and all that. Yes. Yeah? Now what does Islam do? It restores the mathematical balance between parents, children and grandparents. Yes. Right? What's happened now is that lots of people come up narcissistic. Yes. So all they care about themselves. Now yes, I've exactly. a few people, right? Yes. And this voice cut the smell, the LGBT lot, right? Yes. Village one, all Muslims, five thousand Muslims. Village two, five thousand LGBT. The, yes, the Muslim yes. village will thrive and do whatever, yeah? The LGBT, the lesbians aren't going to have any children, the gays aren't going to have any children, the trans are muddy mucked up. All of these people will not produce children. Yes. So ask yourself this who's the dead cult? They are. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? So I'm not going to break this down. We know that the inside geometry, this, that, the other, algebra. Yes. Well, but, uh, geometry. Algebra came from the house of wisdom. Uh, who's the dead cult? Yeah, Al Khwarizmi. Al Khwarizmi, right? And, you know, why is algebra important? Why is what? Why is algebra important? Algebra. Yeah, it, it has many importance. It resolves, for example, mathematical equation, and as well, it leads as well to resolve even physics and, and biology and other things and other, you could say, fundamental, you could say, equations, which is in the, you know, in the. Universe. It creates balance in equations. Yes, exactly. That's why you have equals. So you have minus and balance, right? Exactly. So for instance, if somebody goes, um, I'll, I'll buy this from now, right? You know, in the airplanes, so you go to airplanes. So London to New York, they get there, what, three, four hours? Yes, yes. Right? If something goes wrong, it blows up everyone's legs. Exactly. So the algebra balance is, I would say, to people go on a ship because you can have light bulbs. Exactly. Right? You know, Muhammad Ali, he was always scared of flying. I'm scared of flying. Because you go up there and all of a sudden bang. Yes. So you because there is, there is an error. There is an error factor there. Yes. That's they want to get that, fast. There is. That's what, because they wanted to get fast. There is an error. And that error, it doesn't balance the things. They'll add it as, as, a, as a measurement. Yep. That's the difference between us mathematicians and, and, and physicians. Exactly. <laughs> Mathematics is a job. Yeah, we need, we need to have things is, is it balanced. Right? Math tells the truth. Science makes you a sleuth. Philosophy gives reason debate. Religion only promotes hate unless you've got the right one. Does that sound <laughs> nice? I think it sounds nice. It sounds I love, nice. Because, I'm, you know, we, I, I'll tell you something, yeah? Well, you're a mathematician. I, as, as a mathematician, yeah? As a, as, as a mathematician. I love, actually, being a mathematician gives me, it's inspired me, actually. Yeah. That I believe, I believe something which is a, a, a serious belief. That everything thing. is balanced in this universe. Pros and cons. Things like that. Everything, everything that happens, there is a reason behind it. Of course. You know, when we are, when we are studying the polar system, you have done the polar system. The yep. polar system. Yeah, yeah. And then you look into the, all these flowers, all these butterflies, and all of these things. It's literally based on, on mathematical equations. We, we are aware of some of them, yeah? But not all of them we are aware of it. So it's, you tell us, you tell us, you know. Do you think understanding mathematical equations makes us understand Allah more? Allah. Makes us understand the creation of Allah more. Yes. Makes us to, to understand the purpose of our creation more. Makes us to understand what Allah wants from us. That's right. Yeah? And actually it leads me to this. Yeah. Because for me, if, Everything is like a chaos. Everything is random. How these sophisticated things came balanced? It's impossible. It's impossible because randomness. Yes. We know we are the randomness. It doesn't bring balance. It doesn't bring, you know, you know, you know. You could say equal and, and right measurements. It's, it's impossible. Yes. Randomness to say it randomly like Big Bang. Big Bang. What happens? Yeah. So this is like a random thing. Well, what you say to those people, right? You say to this, use mathematics. You say, okay, the Big Bang's there. What happened before the Big Bang? If they say that. Yes, for example. Right. In mathematics, zero plus zero is equal to zero. So if you've got one plus zero, so yeah. there's nothing there, God, one plus zero comes one. Yes, right? exactly. No one can ever beat me on their arguments. Because you know why? Yeah. They're mathematics is strong. Like you, you are a mathematician. One yeah. of the things, by the way, I have used with that, because the thing is, when I was discussing with people who are Darwinians who believe in Darwin theory and all of these things. Yep. For us, you know what makes a theory is a theory in mathematics? It's not even a, it's not even a proof, is it? You know, you know what the theory? Yeah. The theory, as long as you don't have a single counterexample 
for us it stays as a, as a theory, yes? Yes, that's right. If there is a counterexample, it becomes hypothesis, assumption, but it's not a theory. Yep. For us, as mathematicians, yep. we take high standard in terms of theories. That's right. Am I right? Always, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Well done. And also, <laughs> what was the first example? So, so if there is a counter-example yes. for the theory, it's not theory anymore. You're, is that the, you, you're saying what I already know. Yeah. Brilliant. So yeah. now now here, when, when people who are Darwinians on this one, they come to us. And this one, they say, even though the people believe in Big Bang and all of these things, yeah? Right. They say, in, they say, yeah. they say it's a theory. I said to them, but we have many counter examples. They said, but amongst, they said, in the science community, a, a theory can be a theory with overwhelming evidences. For us, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Overwhelming evidences, it doesn't mean, right. means like, for example, to say, I could prove one plus one equal to, um, to three with, with uh, numerous, for example, ways. But we still, if there is one single example, yeah. contradicted, for us, is it's rubbish, it's done. It's, right. it's, uh, I don't accept it. You must agree with me there. What's the most important subject they teach in schools? Maths. Yeah. Why? Do you know why? Because maths is taught around the world the same. History, different perspective. Language is different. Religion different. Philosophy. So, philosophy. Scientists will argue about climate change. Yes. But who never argues? Mathematicians. Exactly. That's why we don't argue. And yeah. that's why, for me, actually, while, while what, I was studying... What do you think is the worst thing that's happening to children now? We've got all these left Marxists yes. going in with the LGBT people. Right? Exactly, that's right. one of the things. So my main focus is to take them up. So denominations and LGBT, right? You know, I said Islam's only got two. Yes. Sunni is like Christianity, many. Like, how many denominations are LGBT? Sure, they already had the civil war. No, brother, I don't know. Ask the uncle here, one of the uncles here. I don't know. Do, do you know about all the caliphates? Do you know about Al Al Ghazali? Yeah, that's right. You, he's you, one of the imams, yes. He's a man. And he, he, he said the numbers were, you know, you know, I was looking into him like this, that, and the other. What he was against was numerology. Because what he wrote, right? He wrote this, um, here, I'll go, this is one of his quotes, right? If there are not people who are expert in maths in society, it will be a hardship of society, and certain aspects of society will suffer from it. For me, that's important that the first time of that. In other words, you get people who look at maths, they want to go straight to the abacus. As it was no, no, no. Why don't they use their mind to think? They don't use that, that's yeah. fine. Look at the kids now, they're not thinking. They get your smartphones out, they listen to music. They listen to music. And even many of them, they use, they don't know, they don't know the mathematics behind, actually, the phones. The mathematics behind, they will, they'll never know. the mathematics behind the waves, the exactly. mathematics behind, everything there, like yeah. literally is based, on mathematics. On mathematics, Everyone, algebra. Do you know what I do sometimes? You see what sum is, right? It's very, it's very, I, I, you know, I love this conversation. You know, you made my day, actually, yeah. If I said to most people, where would they see the sun there, right? I say, where will it be in 24 hours time? 24 hours time, where will it be? The sun. The sun. Same place, isn't it? Mathematician, same place. Mathematician, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same place, slightly different. But some, and I say, I say, yeah, I don't know. I say, well, that's because you don't understand your maths and your, or your numbers. Too busy on the phone. Listen to all these pop stars, worry about what colour hair they're changing it next. It's rubbish, isn't it? So what they do, they worship demigods. Demigod. And by the way, as well, there is one, one person, he said this, even though not necessarily I 100% agree with it, but they have a point. They said, for example, if they have, if you have one billion, one trillion, whatever, all of these things that exist, yeah? yeah. And you divide that number over one, okay. which is the creator. Okay, yeah. You will have the same number, which means God will turn to each of them in the same amount as they turn to him. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Which means if we have one million people, all of them, they they turn to God, which means all of their things, they are divide all of these ones over one. Yes. Then all the things that their 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 response will be will be respond to them exactly with the same amount that the number they supplicated to which yeah. is the same amount of them, all of them divide by one. And that's the number yeah. one, which everything divides on it and is not dividing anything. That's right. Ah, ah okay. that's a key thing. Brilliant. So what are the three solutions? Right, zero, zero divided by zero. What are the three answers? Uh, one zero, one is uh, one, one's, one's infinity. One well, infinity, yeah. Exactly, infinity one. The three answers to zero plus zero. Uh, yeah, and, ag and adding to this, to say even the... And that's why I'm inclined to say this, this finite universe about the finite because the, just remember if the you what you don't want to be the exam application of Europe, which is yeah. kind of yeah. The first exam application took in the 15th century. Yeah. The number systems, right? How much science would Europeans have had? You would have no biology, no physics, none of this if it wasn't for exam influence and the change of number system. Exactly. There's, there's no way we could have developed all the science with the old one numeral system. Yeah, right? exactly. The numeral system. That's and do you know why the numbers are a bit like that in Arabic? Because each one represents an angle. Look at one. 
one there. You put two, two there. As a mathematician, I draw people to maths. You know why? Yeah. Because we've all learned maths around the world. And you know what people go on about pronouns? I say, well, I'm not like, what's your level of maths? And sometimes they go, oh, I don't like maths. So why do you like maths? You know what I mean? So I'm very good at intimidating all the teachers. And all that. I said to a couple of teachers, right? Um, By the way, what, you have done degree in maths or have you done maths as well? I'm a um, um, degree in maths and then I did work and then I became a teacher. Okay. I used to be a maths teacher, but I... What, I, have, you, what have you done in your, in your bachelor degree? What, what, what topics that you cover? Um, statistics and modular maths okay. and I'm, I'm not up there, but I'm more of a holistic maths and maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all the best mathematicians, they can work out the star system. Yes, what? exactly. Who cares about that? Nobody does. Who do they? So well, we have covered topology, we have covered you know, a few, a few, uh, you know, yeah. like a functional analysis. That's amazing. And do you know what? As mathematicians, right, we are also, you know, when you get flat earthists, flat earthists, you just point out a few maps. You know, they always sound good when they're Yeah, they are, yeah, basically. The, basically, on, on differential equation, you'll get the whole thing. Absolutely. Over us to someone to find calculus, it's defined in the rate of change, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a straight line graph. So if you go from zero to 30 in the car. Yeah, all of that, all of these curves and all of these things, all of these where bridges. Did you, all... you did maps, where, where? I did bachelor degree back home in Jordan in mathematics and statistics. Yeah. But there we take many many topics. We cover topology. We cover different things. That's topology right. is amazing thing. We cover fu functional analysis. That's what, one of the amazing things. What is the top Real award, analysis. What is the top award you can get in maths? The top what? The top award you can get as a mathematician. I, I love calculus. I love I fields, love calculus. fields medal. You heard the fields medal. I I, I love it came, differential equation, yeah. which and I have. Done. Have you heard of the fields medal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every four years, they send all mathematicians around the world. Yeah, yeah. Who have done the great contribution maps? It's not as glamorous as Nobel Prize. It's better. There's only been one woman who's ever won it. She went last year. And her yeah. name is Mikazi. She's from um, Iran. Yeah, yeah. You know this lady? She died a few years ago. The only woman, right, I said to people, if women so suppressed in Islam, how comes one of them's got a field medal, the highest award in mathematics? And and actually, in her. the history, there will be many, many, actually, many, many good only, only one woman has won the uh, field medal. Yeah. And she was a Muslim, right? Sure. Because sometimes I hear all these things say, oh, how many Nobel Prizes have the Muslims won? Who's that the other, right? And I have say, ha, ha, who, which one, who's the And woman? actually, by the way, by the way, by the way. Math tells the truth, science makes the truth. Science is down, math is up. By the way, if you study, there are many in history, many Muslim women actually yeah, got the, that, yeah. yeah, many, many Muslim women actually got, um, got you know, they, they were high in maths actually. They were known with this. There are many, you will find in the history, many Muslim women. Actually, there is a Muslim lady who established some universities actually in the past, which is Al Qirwan and, and um, which is even Zaytuna. These one, these big universities who used to teach actually different topics, which is established by women in Islam. Women in a time yeah. where women were women, not allowed women to uh, even... Women have been far more suppressed than they have ever been in the Arab world. Yes, exactly. This to cover, this to cover, some of the them... The only reason we think that now is because what's happened now, you've got a whole explosion of the social media and hot stars, so all the, you understand, so it's only the last 60, 70 years. Actually, they said, this, there's one of the kings actually in, 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 in England, yeah. he has sent his daughters to Andalusia, because they, 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 they cannot have access to knowledge there in, in, in England. Yep. So he sent his daughter to Andalusia in order to study with, under, with the universities there in Andalusia when the Muslims ruled there. Yeah, Muslim, yeah, yeah, which yeah. means ladies, they were welcome to come, welcome to be educated, welcome to be taught. How amazing it was. So that's why this, this is how Islam is actually. And, you know, I'm, I'm very uh, happy, you know, I'll, having a peaceful I'll, I'll conversation you, about you. I'll give you another one as a, a year, right? You know, you've done all the graphs. You see the number of Christians and Muslims and all that. I'm going to give you it. By 2037, that's when Muslims will outpopulate the... I know 2037, yeah? 20 you know why? Because we can look at the calculus in this time. Yeah, I know, and actually, because... And the amount... I say to people, why do you think... Usually I speak to people in the pubs, right? And they, they don't really say too much anymore because they're a bit, you know, scared to start. Yeah, yeah. Right. And sometimes people will come up, well, they'll say, well, how come Jesus is a Muslim? Uh, because look, Islam wasn't out for 700 years. I said, whether you believe that or not, look at the society they have. Look at the World Cup they have. Look at us. And yeah. usually, I said, what? I said, we all drink. But what actually does it do us? Well, we have fun and stuff. But really, what does it do? What does it do to the thing? Yeah, what does it do to the thinking? Yeah. That's why Islam actually cut the this. Yeah, the difference for me and most other people is like, I drink, yeah, but I know it's an affliction. I know it's something we brought up. If I call it Qatar, any other, it's like, oh, you're on drink. You will try, try your best. I was you know, you, could, you could do a rehab. 
which will help you slowly, slowly to leave drinking, inshallah. Do you know what it does? It's my, I don't give anything. I post all these debates and I know it's an understanding. That will make me just that and the other. I understand, but, but you could, there are some alternatives, some good drinks that Thank helps you. you to give up. And there are some, especially, there are some sweet drinks that made from dates, which is, is not intoxicating there. Good drinks that you could use and that helps you yeah. to give up actually, you know, alcohol and other things. Also, even if it's a political situation, the only reason Islam gets a bad name is because of the political situation with Israel. I know, I know. Right. In the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, right, nobody in this country would ever have a go to Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd never got it coloured the skin. That yeah. was it, right? So, so obviously, we had the Irish bottle, you know, the Northern Ireland, right? So obviously, that got solved and so it's gone on to Israel this time. Yeah, yeah. If you ask me how to solve it, right? Um, yeah, I understand the whole situation, the whole history of the Jews, just something yeah. like how they went to Palestine. And I wouldn't call them occupiers, I would call them very desperate people who were forced out of Europe that this, they kind of come back to that. What they should have done, what they should have done, is gone to Argentina. No, no before Argentina, think about, you know, during the during the Dark Ages here in the UK. In, Between in the, about, well, it was the fall of the Roman Empire and about 1200. No, yeah. even 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 way after that, even until and even during the during Christian time, like for example, up to 1700 or 1800. Yep. What was the situation of the Jews in Europe? They were all exactly yeah. Given it, that's why even this ghetto, this to mean an area which is the Jews used to live. Right. They used to call it as ghettos. My point is that, that is in a time, in a time, yeah, yeah. in a time where Jews yeah. used to prosper in exactly. a Muslim land, yeah. and they became ministers. Actually, in yeah. one of the ministers, actually became so, so in, 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 in words, Andalusia. Yeah. So in other words, they've been there for about seventy or eighty years, right? And then the Jews have been in Europe with this, that, and the other. Yeah. Who's treated them best? It's not. Well, they were treated in the best way um, and under Islamic rulings, yes. and they prosper. They developed their skills. They used know, to do things. Right. They used to do, be. Do you know why things work best under Islamic law? Because of the restorative mathematical balance from algebra. Like all the examples said, right? So in other words, little kids or little children who, like, if you look at women and all that, right? If you get sort of 16, 17 year olds going out chasing women and all that, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Who, who knows better for if your parents and you have a child, you you know who that person's going to know any better. In some getting off drunk, doing this, that, and the other. Because how many divorces do we have in India? Yeah, yeah, look at this. It's, it's a, total, a total destruction in the societies and because of our being thing, away from yeah, guidance of God. Yeah. Look at some old films from 1900, 1905 and say, well, guess what? You can look at the women in the films, guess what they're doing? They're wearing hijab. Yeah, they're wearing hijab, right? This also, yeah, exactly. So when some people say, well, why are they doing the hijab? So we've always had the hijab. Do you know why? Because what's the point of a woman going out with big hair, like, oh, look at me, look at me. Don't look at that person. All they want is attention. Whereas the Islamic woman can go about business, go home and look after family. The Western women will never do that. They'll come out of the house, they're going to look next to you me. They look what they do to their faces and all that. And do you know what? All these transgender people, right? Yeah. All of those people are running away now, all the top doctors are running away. They're, they've had their time, now they've been pushed back. You're, I've said to these people, yeah, all these transgender will walk around thinking, and I said, you're a cult. And they know what it's a cult, don't Yeah, it's a cult. It's a cult right. mentality, yes, I've also fine. said to people, right, how yeah, can you call Islam a cult? This is 1.5 billion. This cult is like 40 people. So that's no, there are 2 billion actually. 2 billion, there you go. Right, 2 billion, there you go. I look at the graphs. And, and, and they're increasing. <laughs> Why you? I say twenty thirty seven. You're holding that one, yeah. I'll come again next week. All right, but That's you should start. Have here. you start praying? I do occasionally. I pray for inspiration, and you guys give me inspiration. Yeah. Come, know, come to one day. You know, we do that at Regent's Park Mosque. Yep. You know, Central London Mosque. Yep. Well, everyone is there. We do the Salah course. How to how to learn how to do the Salah. Yep. Come, at least you learn how we pray, etc. So at least you develop yourself. You know, because you that's have got how. two advantages. You got Muslim, you're a Muslim, and you got the mathematical ability to understand. Uh, I ask Allah to accept. Okay, I'll do that. Do I say now? I, huh? What do I say now? Goodbye, all. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. All right, assalamu alaikum. All right. All right, I enjoyed it as well. SubhanAllah, I enjoy this conversation as a mathematician. <laughs> but, you know, that's um, amazing, brother. Alhamdulillah, that actually him being interested in mathematics. Made him to be interested in Islam, brought him to Islam. Alhamdulillah, he needs to work on himself, inshallah. We ask Allah to guide him more, to keep him steadfast upon the faith. But he needs more, inshallah ta'ala. But at least he is, he's trying his best, inshallah ta'ala, to, to understand more. And inshallah, that's why he needs more guidance. And it's our duty as, as teachers to help and to teach and to educate 
those brothers and sisters who embrace Islam. We ask Allah to help, you, to help us all and keep us in your da'a. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.